Hello children, today in this video of mine, I am going to tell you about the multiplication of algebraic expressions. Okay, so first I am going to tell you how we can multiply a monomial by a monomial. And you very well know that monomial means an algebraic expression that contains only one term. Okay. So, let's see how we can multiply two monomials. So, here is the question. The question says multiply 4 and 7p. 4 is a single term. 7p is also a monomial having one term only. Now, how we are going to multiply 4 with 7p? For the constant and this constant will be multiplied with the numerical coefficient of p. If 4 jo hai, if p k numerical coefficient, if numerical coefficient kya hai? 7, usse multiply hoga. and this will be 4 into 7 p, 4 7 sa 28 p. So the result will be 28 p. I will take one more example. Okay, here it was the multiplication of a constant or a single term with the mono, another monomial. Okay, now I am going to take one more example. Hello children, back to the video in a second. Uh, I am here to tell you that I am providing online classes. And if you are interested to take my online class, you can join my group uh, with the link given in the description box. Now back to the video. Here I am taking another example. Okay, let's it's 4 p cube and minus p cube. Okay, so here one monomial is 4 p cube and another is minus p cube. Here nothing is written, it means here the numerical coefficient is 1. Whether you want to write right. Otherwise, if you don't write then also, it doesn't matter. Okay, now how we are going to multiply? So you must, if you are following my videos, then you must have watched in my earlier videos I have used, I have told you the laws of exponents. So how we are going to multiply? Let's see. So 4pq multiplied with minus pq. Okay? So the numerical coefficients, here the numerical coefficients, is 4 and here the numerical coefficient is minus 1. So 4 into minus 1 will be multiplied and here what we are going to use? We are going to use the product rule. Okay. That is p to the power q into p to the power q. Okay. Or 3. So here the bases are same. Okay. And here is the operation of multiplication. So what will happen? The powers will get added. And 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 into P. And this power is 3. And 3 will get added. So what will be the result? The result will be minus 4 multiplied means P the power 6. So the answer will be minus 4p to the power 6. So now children I am going to tell you the multiplication of a monomial by a binomial. Monomial means single term algebraic expression and the algebraic expression that contains two terms is called as binomial. Okay. So let's see how we are going to multiply a monomial with a binomial. Here the monomial is 2x that is multiplied with the binomial 3x plus 5xy. So how we are going to multiply? See 2x into in bracket we have 3x plus 5xy. That means ki 2x ka multiplication 3x ke saath bhi hoga or 5xy ke saath bhi hoga. Okay? So how we are going to multiply? 2x multiplied by 3x 
what is the sign here? This is the sign of addition. So the addition sign will be put here. Now again this 2x will be multiplied with 5xy. Okay? Now in my earlier explanation also I told you that the numerical coefficient will be multiplied as we simply multiply 2 into 3. And here the laws of exponents we have to apply here. I am going to apply the product rule as there is the basis are same and there the sign of multiplication is there, operation of multiplication is there. So the powers will get added here. The powers are not mentioned. It means the power is 1. Here also the power is 1 and here also the power is 1. So plus 2 into 5. Okay. So we are going to multiply the numerical coefficient and with the variables, we are going to use the laws of exponents. So, x into x, x y means x into y only. Okay. And here, if the powers are not mentioned, here if there is no, it means the power is 1. Okay. Now, 3 to the 6. The bases are same. Multiplication operation is applied. So, the powers will get added. So, here both the powers are 1. So, 1 plus 1. Plus, I am telling you in a very detailed way, so there must, there should not be any type of confusion, okay? 5 to the 10. And then here, because we are, the bases are same here, the operation of uh, multiplication is there. So, the powers will get added into 1. So, 6x, 1 plus 1 is 2, 6x six, six square plus 10x square y. So this is the multiplication of a monomial by a binomial. Children, I am going to tell you the multiplication of a monomial by a trinomial. Okay, how we can multiply a monomial, a single term expression with a trinomial. Trinomial means an algebraic expression that contains three terms. Okay, so let's get started. So it is 3p. 3p is the monomial here and it has to be multiplied with 4p square plus 5p plus 7. This is a trinomial. Why this is a trinomial? Because it contains three terms. Okay. Now this 3p will be multiplied with 4p square also, 5p also and this constant 7 also okay so we are going to write 3p multiplied by 4p square then what is the sign we'll take this sign plus then 3p multiplied by this 5p and again what is the sign here sign addition sign we'll put then 3p multiplied by this 7 okay now, this numerical coefficient will be multiplied and there the variable is p, okay, and here the power is 1 and here the power is 2 and the sign and here the operation of multiplication is done. So, in according to the product rule of laws of exponents, the powers will get added, so 1 plus 2 plus here. The numerical coefficients are 3 and 5 here. 3 and 5 will be multiplied. And here the base is P, the variable P. And the multiplication operation is there. So the powers will get added. 1 plus 1. Okay. Then plus here 3. And then you here there is no variable. So P will be as it is. And 3 and 7 this numerical coefficient will get multiplied with okay now 4 3 is a 12 p 2 plus 1 is 3 that is 12 p q plus 5 3 is a 15 and 1 plus 1 is 2 that is 15 p square 
plus 7 3 is a 21 p so when we multiply 3 p with the trinomial 4 p square plus 5 p plus 7 we get the result as 12 p cube plus 15 p square plus 21 p so children i hope that uh, you got my explanation that how we can multiply a mono monomial with a monomial a monomial the multiplication of a monomial with a binomial and a multiplication of a monomial with a trinomial in my coming videos i'm going to tell you that how we can very easily uh, multiply two polynomials polynomials means poly means the word poly means many so how we can multiply two more polynomials okay so children if you are really getting through my videos you are liking my videos then don't forget to hit the like button and kindly subscribe to the channel thank you so very much